Pies Lauren, relationships in general, all of them, no ones, old ones, coming and going. This video is quick. I hope I can make it quick. And I just want to say, it's amazing. I feel like air traffic control on like the moon or something. Like, you have to just kind of know. I have a very unique situation. I don't like it, okay? I never want to be homeless. Let's just know that. Never wanted my dad to be a child molester. Never wanted my mom to marry a Saudi Arabian arms dealer. Like, one of the best normal life that I got used to have back in Mount Airy before we got a divorce attorney. We had a three politician involved. Anyway, point is, due to all these, you know, boomer ideas that my parents had and the way my life has been, you know, I've got like, for 25 years, I've known North Carolina. For eight, nine years, I lived in West Virginia. And then for like four years, I lived in Colorado. And now here I am in California. Colorado and California are like 1,200 miles apart, but to me, they just seem like, it's like, fancy gap, Virginia, and Mount Airy, North Carolina. To me, it's just like, no, they're over there. But it does take a long time. It took me like, they didn't have to get here, but to me, in my mind, it's just the, the correlation of the the mental sink of the people here are so much, it's part of it is the people I know and meet here, but it's just, you know, this is where they know me from this point and everything. I bet there is 33 years of on the East Coast. Where the same number boy is. I sleep with. Like, East Coast matters. Can't let it go. But I, I, I was trying to let it go as much as I was ever going to. I remember, I was still working with my dad up until January 6, 2020. I was in Denver at the time. You just got, I always look at, like, me holding on to everything I did in the East Coast and can and still do and always will. When I say I care about McDowell County forever, it just means the voice of McDowell County, which is me, talking to you all the time, more than anyone else says, like 4,000 people a day, more than the population in the city of Welch, probably the oldest Veterans Day Parade in history, where Tom Acosta stole over $20,000 from the city of Rennell to do a mural about Vietnam veterans and never completed it, but started it in the city of Welch. There's sound bites. Point is, it's like, there's people who just, you know, come to me on the East Coast and they're like, or, you know, you YouTube comment people that are just passing through, you're just like, I'm here to complain. I have no solutions. I've got questions that's like, I've already got answers for in other videos, but then you're like, I can't handle watching it. You can't handle watching my videos. I'm homeless. There's a seven-year-old boy being molested. It's still my dad's free. Like, you can't, you, you're complaining to me, but you can't handle. So we got you people. I'm, people like that. We also have people like Pat from the library when I was a little kid. And she just can't handle it. So she just like, blocks me or... You know, the, just, we got people, a lot of boomers. A lot of weak boomers. A lot of weak boomers. But then there, there's people, like, you also have to just know. There's other people. Like, my, I don't know, a common friend, he did try to run me off for having headphones, but he had been homeless for five years. He was trying to kill me very violently in that one moment. He was the man who said, way I became homeless was my family said, if you won't marry your sister, you can just be homeless. And then he fought it for five years. And if we're fighting homelessness for five years, he's never the same anymore. But he gets like everything I'm going through and the reasons of how I, everything's so hard. Devin, man of my dreams, best homeless yes better in the world. He also came to war and he's homeless. Like you people that like just can't handle it are just like the people that I associate with or friends with here. You know, like they're 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 getting it. Like I met this one cat, that I don't like very much. And right away, like the first two minutes of meeting him, I was like, my dad had this heart surgery and he's a heartbreaker. And he was like, I get that. I know exactly what you mean. You have you know, people with quadruple and heart, open heart bypasses. A lot of times, are just, they ended up being the shittiest people. And like we have a divorce attorney, Sarah Stevens, who you know I'm sorry, but she looks like she just went and had a you know open heart surgery. You know, makeover, new look. Don't know, but 
you know, maybe she's lost her hair and just looks out wide. Her rib cage has been opened up. You look different. I don't know how. Um, but so we have people, you just have to know the free process of this video is whatever you are like so convinced or can't handle or just like, I ain't gonna help him or let him die. And just like, like just, there's people like that. And then there's that whole other people who are like, no, you ain't gonna give up, Nate. Okay. You, so you just, just be aware. Like you should be helping. I could use help right now. But you know, I have survived whether you do it or not. It's just, if you do help, then you become one of these people that like, I just left Colorado out a job or anything to plan here and I'm doing okay. But like how much longer, it's already been 652 days homeless. Like how much more pain do I have to go under when you can't handle watching my videos? You know, it's just kind of like, or but there's people that are two polar spectrums. You know, everybody here in California kind of gets, yeah, my dad's some parts of the house, like these illegitimate connections to a corrupt, already corrupt government. And that's kind of why he is sustained in this. It's going to come crashing out at some point. But this magical crystal ball of like perceived invincibility it's how my sister my father is. It doesn't last forever and he's already 65 and a half. So we're gonna have to find a way to just hold on. So we said that Tom Acosta was very talented. Thousands of us boomers did. I now, you know, the promise of America's first number one TV hometown, me. From my North Carolina. Like we're just letting him out to die. But you don't have to. But a lot of you are. So, we'll just see what happens next. Now, now Mama said, be the past. And I know. I just came out there. I was like, well, help with what, Nathan? If you're sitting in your own home, people that love you, and all your mac up things, and just like, what is it that you think we should help you with? <laughs> well, I'm $40 overdrawn in my bank account, but like iCloud's coming due, iCloud is where I have. The only, the vast, the biggest, and the most important thing you can't ever get back once it's gone. The family photos. Not to mention everything my dad did professionally for 40 years. His digital archive, everything he ever painted, and we can say we don't care about Tom Acosta for Margaret Chicoetti. Margaret Chicoetti, we got the whole video on you soon. But like, there's pre. I promise you, right now, I could post it. There would be people wanting to buy a print at your high school. Well, kind of low grade, but like, you know. Also, I can already see those bummer wheels are turning. I want to see what percentage, but there is a significant amount of my viewers that are boomer age, and I can tell that you're like, well, if you have a print of your high school, why don't you sell that, Nathan? Here's the thing: I have a digital version of this print of Jaeger High School. It's real stupid, but people, it's already happened while I've been homeless, while people know my dad's published. They're like, we want the print of our high school, which is about kids. Why do you want to buy it? But I'm like, well, the image online came from me. I am homeless. <laughs> I am as a child molester, but I don't even have a print. I am homeless. I have to have something physical to sell. Would I sell? Probably I would. Like, I don't have the ability. I don't even like this thing, but it is in demand. It is what people want. But I'd also painted the oldest church in America. We should just start caring, Margaret Chico Eddie, about like the Andy Wyeth stuff. Like, you don't have to like it. I don't like it either, but it's a bigger deal than you think. But like, I don't have the physical stuff. I have the digital, I have the, the DNA or what is needed to bring Tom Costa back to life in the future when I ain't homeless. I don't have anything I could be like, here. I can't just like make 50 bucks out of my butt. I just have everything he did in a digital form. Anything that might ever be important for like a children's book by Nathan Acosta featuring art by Tom Acosta in 30 years from now. Yeah, all that stuff. Completely at risk. 
And you might just have to realize my brother might have to come to me if he ever has a family. It's like, I'm sorry, I was mean to you when you were homeless, but like, can I have a picture of our mother? Uh, any of them? Yeah. Stuff like that.